Hello everyone, this is Sucking the Cow Stuff Funny January 2023 here. Yes, yes, I know Clea's monster within my latest anime manga of the horror genre of the anime manga universe, etc. Blah blah blah. Just finished. And now we're on to my newer one. This is uh what was it called? Deadline Rise Season 1. And for a fact, um, I'm going to say this right now, if there is ever going to be a season 2 that continues, it's going to be called Deadline Rise something something blah 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 season 2-3. Because regular season 2 is probably going to be a remake of season 1, which I don't like to remake my stories, I mean who does? So that's probably not going to happen. It's probably just going to be one season altogether, and we'll see what happens. But you guys remember the four options. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified for new content on the channel. Yet again, that's up to you guys. And yeah, there's, well, not much to say other than warning. Obviously, my anime mangas of the horror genre are rated R for blood, gore, language, etc. And yeah, this should be a real uh, gore fest and emotionally bad for the main character. Um, so yeah, that happened. And we're going to be covering three episodes, including the first opening song. In this part. So, without further ado, let's hop right into Deadline Rise Season 1. And probably the only season of the entire anime manga. Let's get into it. I like candy. So yes, here we go. Season 1, Deadline Rise. Episode 1, Casey's Trauma. 2013, May 6th. 11 p.m. Majatha High School. Casey, how are you feeling today? A small rumor went around. Sorry for your loss of your entire family. Everyone knows, said Connor as he had reached out to Casey and hugged him as they were close friends. As Casey cried in a sense of sadness, he felt the urge to let go of Connor. Connor is age 13 and has short black hair, green eyes, white skin, and is wearing a white shirt, gray pants, and gray shoes. But when he saw Casey walk away, Connor felt bad for him. As he walked to his house with him to make sure he was safe. Why did you walk home with me? I am just fine on my own. But it was a very bad trauma to witness. My family and my entire family burned alive. And I survived? <sighs> it's not fair. I want them back. It should have been me that died in there, said Casey as he tilted his head down and cried tears of blackness and of fear. He ran to the bathroom to see what was happening. Casey is age 17 and has short white hair, gray eyes, white skin, and is wearing a black shirt across on a chain around his neck, black pants and black shoes, but when Casey looked into, looked into what, if I can get the page going here, as Casey looked into his bathroom mirror, he saw his eyes had turned black and red, then as he panicked, he then saw Connor with a knife and trembling in fear with a ounce of terror. 
What? Uh, what the hell? Your eyes. You are a evil? Now. Well then. I guess this is farewell. Well then. You shall die. Said Connor as he stabbed Casey in his lungs. Connor had lost it entirely. He kicked Casey to the bathroom floor as Casey screamed. Blood went everywhere as he was being constantly stabbed over and over. As Casey laid down dead, Connor said, Well, old friend, I'll see you in the next. The afterlife, said Connor as he bit off all his fingers on his hands. Then with a look of madness, he fell on the floor dead due to the blood loss from biting off all his fingers. But when Casey woke up on his bed, he saw Connor asleep in his chair. Ow! Ugh! My body hurts. We're both alive, so... My eye, my eye color is back to white and gray. That's good. And the bathroom is fine. But it doesn't feel like a dream. Ah, my body. Oh, said Casey as he was done checking his entire house. He went back to sleep in his bed. And that's how episode one ends. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And so now it's time for a rewind our life opening song one. And then we'll get on to the two other episodes of part one. Let's get into it. Ah! Just like a toy, we all break. But my body all over hurts. But in a way, death will damn you. In a twisted way. Because in a way, death will damn you. In a hell of a twist. And he won't live as you die over and over. You won't take it to fucking kill me. As we repeat and rewind life. I will hurt and damn you sweet life. Erase it. Don't give a shit. Is this never ending curse for life? Die over and over. All will be after you kill to survive and the damn savages will not stop I can't do it anymore because I won't go on from this so just fucking die and then life will rewind this never ending death cycle alright I literally just finished these today, right here. So now we're on to episode two. Ah, episode two, second death cycle. Two days later, my head is starting to hurt again, and I can hear the voice saying. That ram will hurt people. That isn't like her, though, said Casey as he saw Connor leave. He then heard a gunshot fire in an alleyway, then ran outside just to see Connor dead on the ground. Oh, well, you're here. I will kill you now, said Rem as she felt insane with a crazy look and blood on her face. Rem is age 13 and has long blue hair, white and pink eyes, white skin, a average body type, and is wearing a gray shirt drenched in blood, a blue skirt, and brown shoes. But as Casey picked up a piece of glass, all he could do was throw it into Rem's head. As she pulled the trigger, Rem saw the blood going down her head as she fell down dead. But as the bullet hit Casey in his left eye, 
His right eye turned black and red as he fell down dead on the ground. He then woke up at a forest with Rem and both eyes back to white and gray. As he stood up, he wondered how he got to this forest with Rem. And now we're on to episode three. So yeah, episode two, done. Episode three, Casey versus Rem in the muddy forest. No, not you again. Wait, on a good chance none of that is real at all. But why am I at a swampy mud forest? God, it stinks. None of this is making any logical sense at all, said Casey as he saw Rem wake up by a tree as she felt happy. Oh my lord, I got so drunk last night, even you proposed to me. And think about it. Do you remember my little demon? Said Rem as she went over to Casey Casey then pushed her fully naked body into a black sticky mud pond and then hit her in the head with a tree branch outside of the mud pond, then listened to his inner demon self in him and pulled out his lighter and burned Rem in the mud as it all lit on fire. (laughs) <laughs> Good, she is dead. Wait. But I didn't want to hurt anyone. Huh? Ow! Uh, uh, it got on me. No. 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 Uh, ow! Said Casey as some of the fire got on him with a little bit of mud splash. He smiled in pain as his skin burned off, his clothes and eyes burned up. As his bloody skeleton fell on the ground, Casey then woke up in his bed yet again. With everything intact, he was just fine. That was all real. You demon blood, (laughs) you have demon blood in you, and if you want to live, or should I say, if you want this to end, then kill yourself, you half demon, alright, said Grace, a demon within Casey, but as Casey took his cross off, he threw it outside his window and said, let's talk, Grace. I need to know a lot right now, said Casey with a look of rage and insanity. Episode 3, done. Then episode 4 is called One to Another, which we will cover in Season 1, Part 2. So stay tuned for Season 1, Part 2 of... This anime manga that I am still currently working on as of right now. Um, yeah. And, of course, all my other anime mangas of the horror genre. Of the anime universe slash manga universe. Will also be coming to the channel soon as well. Um, but... I have to get around to making more, obviously. Busy, 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 as you know. Um, and yeah. More gaming content, etc. will be coming to the channel as of AMVs, etc. blah blah blah. But, if you guys want to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified for new content on the channel, that would be great. And, if you want to like the video and comment, that would be great as well. But, it's up to you at the end of the day. So viewers, hope you all are having a good evening, good afternoon, or a good day. Um, and yeah, peace out guys, this has been Saki Nikai, so fine, Anime 2023 here, and I'll see all of you in the next one, stay safe out there, peace out, and bye bye